Well, good morning, friends. I want to give you kind of an aerial from where we're going to start today. Welcome to March, right? Quickly happening. I just posted a video not too long ago. I, I recorded that back in February, uh, about a week ago, and then my wife and I got the flu. It was terrible, and the last thing I wanted to think about was anything about the garden. So that will be coming out, or you probably, yeah, you will have seen it by now. Um, so if it, the months or the days kind of don't match up because I was last part of February and then you were in March when you were viewing it. So I do apologize, those things tend to happen. Life got in the way, but oh my gosh, we hadn't got sick in so long that when it did hit us, it just hit us good. So anyway, um, I finally get to put out a bunch of the leaf bags um, where I cleaned up last week. There's all the leaf bags. We have to wait till March 1st around our park to put away all those uh, clippings. So. That will be going in the trash tomorrow. This is Sunday. You will be probably seeing this on Wednesday. Uh, I'd like to try, to, I'm gonna try to put out about three videos a week um, consistently, we'll see. Uh, just depends on mother nature and what she has planned. We are still in March and zone 6A here in Kansas. We could have some really nice weather like we do have today. It's supposed to be close to 80. And we could also have some really, really brutal um, freezes come through here with snow and yeah it could, it could get nasty quick so anyway today we're going to clean up on the perimeter of the landscape um, I, last video that I did I noticed that I needed to slow down just a little bit working out all the kinks right um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and touch in all the the outer part of the landscape so we'll move across that fence line back there and all the way around a lot to clean up a lot of the daffodils allium sedum starting to show like there's a lot of things starting to really come together however it's still early uh, but mother nature and this landscape know kind of work together on things so we'll see how it all works out hopefully we don't have too much of a freeze come through here uh, the trees are swelling everything's looking beautiful um, we did clean up in that last video if you want to go back and look at it, you didn't see it, but we did clean up in this inside, just outside of the grassy area, but inside the sidewalk. Uh, there's a lot that I did, uh, and if you follow me for any length of time, you know that I do tend to leave everything in the garden over the season. I wait till late fall to clean up, almost push it till early spring, just so that all those critters and birds and different things have a place to... Uh, snug up during the uh, winter months even the rabbits i'm not a fan of rabbits they they tear up a lot but i do i do really tend to uh want to take care of a little bit of everything that comes into this garden um so yeah so i'm pulling back and rightfully so i also leave it there because i am super excited about getting my hands dirty and if you pulled all that back in your early months or late what early fall i guess I tend to uh, be bored during this time of the season, so we've got a lot of projects to do. I have to redo the pond. If you've seen that on the last video, the pond liner bubbled up underneath, causing all my fish to be without. And so when my uh, wife and I came out here, we lost all of our beautiful koi that we've had for years and years and years. I don't know. I can't. There's no explanation. I cannot figure out why it bubbled up. Perhaps this has happened to you and you've kind of... Uh, you can send me a message and tell me why. So all this will have to be redone, which is sad. You can see the bricks and it's just a mess down there. All the uh, buckets here. I have plants and water plants and stuff in there. So it is what it is. Uh, I have to move on. So uh, yeah, let's get down there. Let's get started on the um, perimeter of the cleanup. Cleanup is not like, it's not a great video, right? You, but it does allow you to kind of get familiar with the landscape and whatever but it's not one of those videos where you're doing much other than just clean up and if you're um, kind of an OCD individual where you like to see stuff get picked up and cleaned up and the right video for you then um, but I, I like to get people familiar with the landscape and it's not always what it looks like in May when it's May June and July when it's beautiful and lush and everything's blooming so when you start pulling back the layers of these gardens it's, it can tend to be a little bit yucky so um, if you can see back there in the background before the trees start to uh, really leaf out, but back there the individuals that bought that house back there built a big old deck so I can see them and they can see me every day when we're out here. Um, 
working in the landscape. So the project that I have back there has been on halt for a while because I wanted to uh, really come up with a plan that will allow me to go up um, so I can kind of block in between the two trees here and here because any angle that I look at I can see them and they can see me and it just doesn't look as magical when you can see other people in the landscape and if you know what I'm looking for here it's uh, whimsy and and magical and make you kind of feel like you're not in um, a suburban landscape so uh, by the time we're done with the, all these projects and get you know get the garden cleaned up I can start uh, really getting into uh, putting in some of that hardscape and uh, get ready for the spring. So anyways, I'm gonna hush up and we're gonna get to cleaning up. We've got a lot to do, so come with me. So these planters now that are cleaned out, but last year, I planted these up, I added these saucers in here, and I'll, I'll, um, I'll share this in the, in the link below, but we did a video on planting these up, and I added all kinds of tropicals and then some annuals, uh, some perennials, but I, the feedback was remarkable on this video. Like, a lot of people, you know, were excited about it, and then there was a lot that said that, you know, maybe I planted too much and it wouldn't work, but if you watch for any length of time during the season, this thing turned, these just turned out remarkable. And if you follow me on Instagram, I advise you to go do that. Um, I do a lot of the videos on there are of these uh, planters throughout the season. It just added so much to this little spot where it's hard to plant under the um, trees here. So this turned out great. I loved it. We'll do it again. We'll, we'll mix it up with what we put in here, but we'll do it again this season. So they'll stay where they're at. I think I might raise them up a little bit. Uh, but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little handy dandy Walmart rake. I use this little small one, nothing insignificant about it. I think it was like probably seven to nine dollars. And um, what I'll do is I'll get back in these little cracks and crevices where the wind blows these leaves and they tend to pile up. I'm not gonna get rid of the leaves if you're asking yourself, why is he getting rid of the leaves? I'm not getting rid of the leaves. What I'll do is I'll add the big bulk of these into a Walmart or into one of these uh, recycle bags. I get the recycle bags from two places and Walmart's one of them. And I'll put it in there and then I'll get my mulcher out later on um, here in a, within the month. And I'll take all the bags that I just have strictly leaves in it and I'll mulch those leaves up and it breaks them down into fine little pieces. And then I'll sprinkle them throughout because there's parts in the landscape that I don't have any leaf coverage because the wind has blown them into the corners. but. This right here, if I just left this here in the open out there uh, waiting to mulch, it would just blow off on the next windy day. Today's supposed to be wind gust up to 35 and 40 mile an hour, so you can imagine how uh, windy today's going to be, but throughout the season, that's how all this happens to end up in these corners and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take this little tiny rake, I'll pull out back the layers, and there's stuff in here that is growing that I'm not even remembering that's in there. There's lilies and there's different, there's just different things in here. And so once I start pulling back, I'll be like, yeah, there it is. So it allows me to kind of work around without damaging any plants as well. So let's get this layer pulled back and we'll just continue to make our way around um, the entirety of the property.
Okay, let's just kind of recap from here. Again, gardening is in the you know late winter trying to get this thing started off. There's not much to the videos. That's why it's going to be a quick video. Uh, we want to sit there and watch me clean up, but there are people that request um, kind of a visual of the garden when there's everything's kind of just dormant and just really trying to break ground right now, but uh, temperatures are starting to rise a little bit more. Uh, we're kind of getting in our comfort zone where Kansas feels like this is what we do year in and year out. So if you can hear on the side, that's Marley, my, do my son's dog. Um, so that's the noise on the side. So let's just kind of go through here real quick. There's a lot of things, different irises and, and uh, lilies and uh, alliums and whatnots trying to poke through. So it's a good time of the season, kind of start getting prepared what we're doing. And I think we're, we're headed in the right direction. You've seen where I um, threw all these birdhouses on. Those birdhouses, they're not made to last forever, but they'll kind of hang on for a couple more years. I kind of like the older style of things. You can see here, I do have a daffodil blooming. I did not see that. My wife kind of told me about it. And then right here, you've got a Annabelle hydrangea spent bloom from last season. We'll, uh, we'll go through and we'll do all the Hydrangeas at a different time. Uh, right now, we'll just kind of wait till they start swelling. So yeah, we got a lot accomplished. I cannot wait to get on start on that project. Two reasons: one specifically because it's an eyesore, but two, um, the little plan that I put together should be a lot of fun. So we shall see. Uh, not every garden is designed uh, works the, works out the way you would like it to, and not everybody cares about everybody's designs but yeah let's look here i didn't even see this earlier but we have some lungswort blooming capture that yeah we've got about six i believe six seven of them here's three more that's the only one blooming right now so can't wait to start coming through here and start seeing a lot of things pop and really get excited about the spring season look here you can see that green haze back there that's all barberry that shall be uh, a little fun here before too long. You can see some alliums right here popping up. They're all dotted throughout this little bed here. This bed's about two and a half years old. Um, you can see here, let's see. You see the roses, uh, oops, my arm got caught in there. Let's kind of slow that down a little bit. Yeah, you can see this rose that I walked, I went to my son's, my nephew's graduation several years back and well out during that time I ran across this lady that had their yard full of these roses and she didn't know the name of it nor do I but I brought this up on my channel not too long ago I think last year maybe I if 40 people responded 40 people had a different answer I was hoping for two people to have an identical answer to kind of give me some hope but not so much um, you can see the irises in here so yeah once the uh, once those roses kind of bloom out we'll get f filled up a little bit more i'll send them to you let me go back to those i can't wait maybe you have these in your garden and you can give me some more and we can go back and match it up look at those thorns you see all those thorns on there that thing's just covered in thorns um see all that it's just covered in thorns but Nonetheless, it doesn't bother anybody and it's really, once they bloom, they're just beautiful and they smell so good. They put off little one to two inch blooms. Beautiful. Again, if you're just tuning into this channel for the very first time, I would recommend going back and looking at some of the other videos um, from last season or even going to my Instagram. That's kind of slowly starting to catch on. It's, it's newer, but we have a project. This used to be the pergola. Pergola is gone. It fulfilled its duty its purpose. Um, I did have uh, no trees in this landscape and so I had a a beautiful pergola there with some wisteria that grew over it and cut it all back, released it, and uh, now we're just going to kind of plan a new part for that, that area of the garden. So yeah, you can hear all the robins. That's kind of an indication here in zone 6a. Do you guys have that where you have a particular bird that starts to frequent the garden and kind of jump start your mind knowing hey spring is just around the corner yeah so all these little spots right here where i had just cleaned up you can see where the 
robins have been digging throughout the day the winds really died back so that's good i'll throw these saucers um these planters on uh, the link below and if you're interested those worked out so well um, really recommend those they come in i think three different colors and several different sizes i will be purchasing more for some more projects that i will be introducing to you folks this season but you can see here i've got it kind of tapered down here towards the ground level so you can see all the different things that are starting to pop up we won't go through all that I want to make this a quick video i get a lot of requests on instagram oh, neighbor's dog just came out instagram and um, even personal uh, request on this channel asking for me to hey marley asking for me to um kind of show them the landscape and the lay of the land right now so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching if you are interested in following us i would greatly appreciate it jump in there hit the like hit the subscribe maybe leave a comment let me know what kind of birds are chirping in your landscape and kind of tend to oh i didn't even see it back there let's go back there real quick i walked right past that those opened up within the day see those daffodils back there oh yeah that's exciting see so much going on in the garden look at that there huh didn't even see that earlier interesting my mind is always moving and i didn't even stop to think about it or to notice so anyway hit the like hit the subscribe there's the dogs in the background saying hello um we'll talk to you on the next video Bye bye